Hello everyone, uh, Snipe Trading here. Today is Thursday, April 11th. I'll be going over my recap for today. Uh, so today, today there was a lot of opportunity and I uh, didn't pull the trigger on a few of them. Um, so let's go through this. So my first trade was, um, I think it was GLG. So this was like, uh, I, I rarely trade the first minute or two uh, from the opening bell, but I saw this one holding this uh, 286 area. So during pre-market, it, it had this 286 support. Uh, during the open, it uh, whipped down, it recovered, and then the second minute, it whipped down, covered. So I went ahead and long this um, at the 288 uh, air, eight area, and then uh, it was just a really quick scout for a $16 win, and then I just took it when it was uh, towards $3. Um, and then I think it, it broke this uh, pattern here, this flag. Um, during pre-market, it kind of popped up over here and fell, so it kind of messed up this uh, flag, or I, was, um, I would have been more confident of buying this uh, break here. Um, and then during the day, it had a flag here, um, which was a, a pretty good flag. Um, so you could, uh, you could buy here um, with your wrists off this lows. Um, and I was watching this, and I totally missed it. Um, I was watching this uh, flag here, um, and then I, yeah, I took my eyes off it, and then, it, yep, it was in a chase. But it, it had, uh, it didn't really have any uh, short, uh, perfect short uh, for short opportunity uh, that I saw. Um, and then it had an offering midday, and it kind of uh, faded all the way back down to like 180. Uh, the next trade I did was uh, FTFT. So I did two trades on this. Um, initially, there was this uh, the 238, uh, 240 area. Uh, you can see it's holding support and, air and resistance. Uh, so the first trade, um, I kind of uh, I saw this higher low and it was forming this. Um, you can see it was like a little flag break here, um, so I went I went ahead and uh, took a took a long there. Um, there was a quick volume pop and then it dropped back down and I just stopped out. Um, and then that was like like a forty dollar loss uh, there, because uh, I thought it would go over. But next time I shouldn't take these trades because usually it'll pop up um, and then retest the 480 and then that's where you want to buy this flag break here um, and then in the in the evening um, or in the afternoon there was another flag um, so it was kind of like what I just said um, but I think in the hourly chart it was kind of overextended so it had like a fake fake move so I just bought that and then sold it right away um, since I didn't see um, a lot of uh, follow through. Uh, so I sold half and then I just sold the rest kind of uh, break even and that just took away um, some of the loss from uh, earlier. Uh, the next trade I did was uh, VTL. So VTL. Eh, I was watching this for a flag, so it was flagging here. Um, a very nice flag, but it wasn't enough follow through. So you can see this flag got tighter. I bought I bought the break of uh, 75 there. Um, I had a chance to sell at 78. It broke high of day, um, and then it fell. And then it still was holding this trend line, so I give it a chance um, with my stop off a uh, 74 break. So I give it a chance to see if it can uh, retest high day again, but eventually it just broke and I sold there at uh, 74, I think, for a $15 loss. This is a small loss, but I was up here for around like $30. Uh, my last trade was PHUN. So PHUN, uh, in the morning, it was running, had a halt, then it halted down. 
uh, or, or went down. Uh, I had 100 share shorts and then you can see it's grinding higher lows, higher lows, flagging here and then it started to break. Um, so I was watching this for the backside. So when I saw it was grinding up, I saw this uh, head and shoulder or a cup and handle. So you can see this head and shoulders or a cup and handle. Uh, I went ahead and a short right there. Uh, covered half my position. I tried to cover it here, but it was too quick and the spread was too high, um, too big, so I didn't get my orders filled. Um, and then I end up uh, adding more on this retest because I thought it would roll over again. But I think this doji here um, was too strong, so, so there's a lot of uh, buying power. So I end up stopping out for the rest there. And that was just a quick $24 winner on the short side. And I think that was all the trades I did. Um, so uh, PHUN, it's squeezing a little higher uh, after hours here. And I think that potentially, I think this can get to the $12. I think that was the next uh, area. So there's this $12 uh, support uh, right here. Can I pass resistance? But uh, overall, I'm pretty much uh, flat for today. Just down uh, two bucks. Um, so as always, uh, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Thank you. Bye-bye.